outrageous. He's not living in the real world. Get him off the air, please. I, I don't know about that. I mean, I don't. Regardless of what he does, or where he came from, or his background, I don't believe that Simon Coveney just sits on his arse and twiddles his thumbs from Monday to Friday. Uh, so I don't, I'm not keen on it getting overly personal. Um, ask him why wasn't the block manufacturers brought to task? Why it is? Why is it the citizens have been punished? with this block levy, the concrete levy. Uh, please, he mustn't come across as so arrogant. He has no empathy. He obviously is not at risk. He's looking at the stats and the poorest people are being looked after. Is he even listening to what you're presenting to him? Uh, another one, he's deluded. He said the best budget for 10 years. Ask him, why am I having to work two jobs, 80 hours a week just to survive? And I'd be better off on the dole. Uh, one or two more. Um, ask him why the insurance companies for the dodgy cement blocks. Yeah, there's a lot on those, actually. Again, people are very annoyed about this uh, this levy. And sometimes it's the small things that hurt people most, you know, putting a little levy on concrete. Um, but you can understand why. Because people feel they should not have to pay it. Uh, we have we have pay as you go gas and electricity. We both work, have no social welfare payments, so we get nothing from this budget, and dread every month trying to make mortgage payments. We got a letter from the bank this morning saying interest is going from three to five percent. Will we ever get a break? Uh, please ask him what's the big, huge, massive delay and failure with the payment scheme for mother and baby home survivors, as an example. Uh, 